people should be able to complain about the homeless without criticism. Yes, a lot of people are homeless as a result of some sort of tragedy or severe mental illness and they deserve compassion, but let's be honest, it's not easy living around them. It's annoying as hell that there are multiple people in my neighborhood who my only relationship with is them begging me for money, and it's even more annoying when some of them ask me to stop at an ATM and withdraw some of my money for them like I'm their money delivery service. That is annoying they are not monsters for asking that, but goddamn, it is annoying it sucks finding giant turds on the sidewalk, it sucks not being able to have a seat on the train because a dude is napping on an entire row of seats, it sucks having a dude make a scene because I won't give him money, and it sucks having some dude who looks like Samuel L. Jackson in a time to kill threaten to murder you and having to guess if he actually can. Now, all that being said, the key word is complain about the homeless. Not harm, not antagonize, not berate, not even ignore, but complain. We should all be allowed that. My stepdad owned a restaurant. He would make them a meal for sweeping the cigarette butts off the sidewalk in front. In Fort Collins, they had parking meters set up around the restaurant area that you could donate money for the homeless. It was designed so people could help while avoiding making the downtown area a hotspot for begging. Yes, I am better off than homeless, but still stress about every bill, retirement, and supporting the kids. Last thing I need is some aggressive homeless person trying to shake me down for money. Happy to help, but also leave me alone. There was a story about the homelessness crisis in Austin a few years back and a woman said something along the lines of I lose a little empathy every time I have to pick up human shit. She got pilloried online, but I get it. Yeah, when I complained about the homeless guy who peed in my front yard, I don't want to be told he had nowhere else to go. You are. In fact, cities are taking steps to try and prevent it. Some. More bright than others. Some put up spikes, others actually attempt to help. It's very interesting watching the demographics there. It's ironically not what most expect. I think the only people who disagree with this are sheltered suburbanites. I used to have a lot more compassion for them until I lived in an urban center in close contact with them and got grabbed at and threatened by a lot of them. Agreed. As a solo female, there are parts of my city I don't feel safe in because of our homeless problem. Some of these people can be violent due to mental illness, addiction, etc. I can't take that chance. If I say anything about this, I'm painted as some kind of monster. I hate that I have to choose between being safe and being nice. I'm not a monster for wanting to feel safe in my own city. We are allowed to complain about any number of things, especially if they directly affect us. It's a safety issue and also has to do with sanitary issues among other things. But at the same token people are also allowed to voice their criticisms about criticisms. That's how it works. You are allowed to complain. The only two times in my life I felt I was in actual danger were from homeless people. One guy followed me to my car and tried to get in the passenger seat but the door was locked. I get it. There are real problems out there. At the same time, any of us could find ourselves homeless one day. And when you vent about homeless people you might talking to a former homeless person. So say whatever you want. But it might be smart to really give it some thought first. The homeless encampments are what bother me. Because of how and where they set them up. I get it they need shelter but the amount of garbage and trash that's just engulfs these places is horrible. I guess. I think it's a natural thing to want to complain about them, but I recognize that our society doesn't exactly make it easy to dig yourself out of homelessness. I don't like being solicited for money, but honestly every interaction I've ever had with a homeless person has been firmly on the pleasant side, whether I give them money or not. Just a fun factoid to throw out there, though about 40 of homeless people in the US actually have jobs. It's a more slippery slope than you think. If someone else's house caught on fire and then their actions indirectly or directly caused my house to catch fire I'd be pissed, even if it wasn't their fault. Like yeah you're the problem, even if it's not your fault. I had a conversation with a really nice homeless lady once. 
She told me that when she flies a sign asking for money at the base of an off-ramp she makes $250 in a couple hours and gets more food than she can eat. All that money goes to drugs. She could easily get a motel room with it, she qualifies for shelter and counseling, but she prefers to live on the streets. She was refreshingly open about it. Since then I never give them anything but food, and they often refuse it. I had a panhandler at a gas station ask me for cash. When I told him I didn't have any he wanted me to go to the ATM for him. When I flat out told him no, he demanded that I let him check my car for change. Then he threw a fit and caused a scene when I told him no again. Another time a guy was standing just past the drive through window of Taco Bell yelling at drivers to give him their change from the cashier. I get that they are in a difficult situation and there but for the grace go I, but when they act entitled to other people's money is when I get irritated. I love all the wannabe saints in here. I'm sure maybe a handful of people are these actual compassionate nice people they claim to be. The majority of y'all are liars, just saying what you need to say to sound morally superior. I think all the people who think it's so bad to complain about homeless people should let them live in their home. I'm a woman who lived in a homeless-ridden neighborhood in Paris. They made the neighborhood so unsafe, dirty and noisy that it negatively impacted virtually every aspect of my life. I gave money to those who seemed genuine from time to time, but for a lot of homeless people, money isn't the problem. You definitely are currently allowed to complain about the homeless. To prevent me from criticizing your complaining about something would be a violation of my First Amendment rights. You can complain, I can call you dumb or agree with you. That is the beauty of free speech. I've given money, I've bought food, and in return I've gotten literal shit thrown at my car and my back window caved in. It's really hard to help when you are literally attacked. I blame the cities that do nothing and the cities that ship out homeless here in order to solve their own problems. But it, do you become jaded after being attacked repeatedly? I knew a guy that could jump over six homeless. There are a few homeless at the store my brother works at that sit out front and just ask for money. I told my husband they'll have to get phones with card readers if they want change from me because I don't carry cash. IDK who really does anymore. The dudes that ask you to go to the ATM or say just get cash back are pretty silly. Like sorry bro I'm not going out of my way or paying an ATM fee for you. I can give you an application, though. I had one living in my basement years ago. He was not allowed in the house because he smelled so bad. We would just bring him food. He was also a raging alcoholic and he pissed himself all of the time. There is a reality to the homeless condition that many people, indeed the people who would likely shout at you for complaining, have never experienced it firsthand. It is not pleasant. In my town they smoke meth on the sidewalk and publicly defecate, steal from your yard at night, and leave needles ins children's playgrounds. Complain about the homes less that harass people, the homeless that leave wild amounts of garbage in public places, homeless that like any other type of people that can be pieces of shit. Don't complain about the ones that chill and leave others alone. Some of the nastiest and meanest people I've ever met were homeless. I believe it's absolutely necessary to complain about the homeless situation, but we need to make sure that the anger is directed in the appropriate direction. Homeless people are still people, and to an extent, their situation isn't necessarily their fault. Homeless people are a symptom of a bigger problem and in my opinion, it's a sign of a government not doing its job. So yes, complain away and make sure we fight for stronger government-funded social programs targeting this situation and electing people who can make a change to help every single citizen. It can be annoying. And I've never had to step over turds, but in those moments I try to flip any immediate annoyance to gratefulness that for whatever reason, that it ain't me out there. After I let my mum stay in my condo while I was traveling and her telling me a homeless person took a shit in front of her as she was leaving the underground parking lot I started leading an effort to have them safely removed from our building by the police and our building management. I have zero sympathy for any that will use public spaces as toilets or who act inhuman acting aggressive or attacking people. 